Do you think you actually came into this experience as an imperfect being? You may notice and go, oh yeah, because I'm short, because I don't look like this, because I wasn't born like this or with this type of money. You may go, yeah, I I'm, was born imperfect, but I go, you just named four different things that made you imperfect. And this is all things that's based on something that the mind has told you is imperfect, something that the world has told you is imperfect. But you're perfect because there's no one else like you. When I say you're perfect, I really mean it. When I say I'm perfect, I really know it. You have been conditioned to see imperfection. Just look around. You have been conditioned to see imperfection. And because of that, you don't know the other side of it. Because imperfection and perfection are both sides of the same coin. And that coin is life. And you may think, you know, how is it that I'm perfect? I'm not the right height. <clears throat> I'm not that handsome. I don't look beautiful. I don't have money. I'm not the right shape. I wasn't born in the right country, in the right social class. How could you say that I'm perfect when I can show you all of this? And I say to you, or to anyone who would even think there's no such thing as perfection, to look outside of your mind. Your mind judges imperfection and perfection. So your mind doesn't actually know the truth. It sees that this person right here they don't look attractive, that's imperfect. This woman right here, she's the most beautiful woman I've seen so far in person. She looks perfect. Your mind can distinguish this. Your mind it's set up by how society has told you what's perfection and what's imperfection. What's given importance and what's not given importance. You don't know what perfection is simply because you trust your mind, you believe your mind and what it tells you that Perfection and imperfection is. That's why you don't know what perfection is. Me being someone who came from an upbringing that somebody would call imperfect. Because I viewed it like that as well.
barely having money. <clears throat> having to not do the activities I wanted to do because we couldn't afford it. Sometimes not having food. Sometimes having to depend on the food from school to be able to satisfy me for the day. Some, my, somebody may look at that like I did. Well, let me just bring it to me. I looked at that as imperfect. I did. I looked at my situation and went, why do we have to be the ones that's or I have to be in my family, have to be the ones who don't have money. Because we're wonderful people. We don't hurt anybody. We encourage people. Why do I have to be put in this imperfect situation? And you start to look at your situation from the point of view of not enough. This is what I did. I looked at my situation as this means I'm not enough. This means that I will be treated differently. I was so scared to have people come over my house. I was so scared to talk about anything in regards to finance. I was so scared to. Because I viewed my financial situations in relation to my importance as well. So when someone would come around, I would go, I don't want them to see this imperfection about me because that would mean that I'm less important to their, in their mind. That would mean that I'm less important. That I don't mean as much as a person who's in a better financial situation. And one of the things that really got me was Seeing people who had more than me as more than me, more important than me, closer to perfection than me. Because my mind view perfection as when you have a lot of money, you're in a perfect situation. You're a perfect. substance for what people want to be around, for what people can say is important. I believe these things. My mom used to tell me this. And it used to get reinforced by everything around me. Especially if you grow up in a place where it's really progressive and there's a lot around you and there's much consumerism around you and technology. This is where you'll feel feelings of imperfection the most. So places like Australia, America, Canada, the Western countries, in Europe, South Africa, places like this, these that, as a person you just go, there's so much imperfection around me. There is. And not even talking about finance. 
talking about the way people are, the way that they look, the way that they're brought up, the, the situation they're in, the social economic class. You view, you view all of this from the vision of imperfection. What do I see that's wrong? What do I see what's wrong in me? You're always looking for what is wrong, what is wrong, what is wrong. Notice it. And in the way that you do this on the outside, it's the same way you do it on the inside. You're constantly, if you're someone growing, and I'm gonna guess you are, if you're watching this video, you're constantly looking for the imperfections, constantly. Me included. Something I caught myself in was looking consistently for the imperfections. So it would give me a reason to grow. And one thing I love about meditation is that it gives you the chance to see life. And I say that because I'm sitting in meditation And what I notice is, is I want to move. And what I notice is, is that I want to shift this way. I want to continuously move my awareness. I want to get away from my thoughts. I want to do, just have a perfect stance. I'm noticing me constantly shifting, moving around. And it's because every time I feel imperfection, I change it immediately and in a moment even when I'm just totally still I was noticing that I'm still looking for what are the imperfections okay my awareness is not low okay now I feel like my lower back is hurting and did I move it down some I'm constantly adjusting I'm constantly trying to move things in the right place constantly trying to control and not even that even with my thoughts if there's nothing happening, I'm trying to conjure things up. I'm like, there's nothing going on. Maybe I'm not growing right now. Maybe I feel like there should be something there so I can have something to latch on to so I can see what's wrong with it, find the root, and then be able to move through it. And I started to understand that I do search for imperfection, that I do. That I look for what's not right. Even when I'm in a moment of totally being perfect, which is outside the mind, because I'll tell you this in a little bit, my mind will latch on to something immediately to go, what's imperfect about this so I can change, so I can do something about it. And maybe you're someone who does that same thing. When everything is just going right. When everything seemed like it's just all dandy. You find something. That's not perfect. You find it. Without even knowing you will consciously seek it out. As simple as maybe you're walking down the street. And you feel here. Then what you notice is a homeless person and they are talking to themselves or they're doing something. Just what you would perceive as like crazy. They're doing something just like, rah, rah. they're doing something like that. As you look at that, you may even go, wow, this world is just so unconscious. And in that moment, as you go into that, you dive into that, you'll start to notice that you want to bring perfection to the world. You latched on to a quote unquote issue. Unconsciousness is an issue. That's what you latched on to. And in that moment, 
you don't know it, but you're trying to change it. You're trying to change imperfection so it can be perfect. You're trying to change unconsciousness to consciousness. Because maybe you view yourself as a conscious person. Then when you notice unconsciousness, you go, I wish that was consciousness. You're not used to seeing perfection. This is what I'm bringing you to. The way that you've wired yourself, the way that you've been wired coming up, is consistently seeing imperfections so that you can become perfect. And then, even when you are trying to become perfect, you constantly hear, nobody's perfect. You constantly hear this. The saying, nobody's perfect, grounds you a bit. In a way, you can go, yeah, nobody's perfect. I mean, I'm like this, but I'm not perfect. And you'll try to use it as an excuse. You'll try to use it as leverage. I mean, I'm not perfect. People consistently say this. <clears throat> I mean, you're not perfect. I mean, nobody's perfect. Constantly they say this. And this is the most silly thing to say. Because they're forgetting that if they are noticing imperfection, if they're noticing imperfection, if there's imperfection around them, it has to have the balance to it. The balance to imperfection is perfection. And you can only know what perfection is going outside the mind. You'll never know what perfection is by the mind because the mind will judge what perfection is. And then that brings me to, what is perfection? Why do I say I'm perfect? Why do I say you're perfect? She's perfect, he's perfect. It's all happening perfectly. Perfection is this. It's me moving my hand like this. It's me smiling. It's happening. It's as I'm looking at you. There's no way that's better than this for me to look at you right now. This is the perfect way to look at you. Why do I say you're perfect? Because there's not one person like you. Do you think you came into, into this experience as an imperfect being? Do you think you actually came into this experience as an imperfect being? You may notice and go, oh yeah, because I'm short, because I don't look like this, because I wasn't born like this or with this type of money. You may go, yeah, I I'm, was born imperfect, but I go, you just named four different things that made you imperfect. And this is all things that's based on something that the mind has told you is imperfect, something that the world has told you is imperfect. But you're perfect because there's no one else like you. You're perfect because you are here. And this comes to this. All of this is perfectly, perfectly happening and perfect as well. If you are someone who sees perfection, as this is this and this is imperfection, then what I want to tell you is to let go of that and see that all of this is perfect. Tell me how much better can a tree become? 
Really, how much better can a flower become? Well, you know, the, the, if the tree was groomed a little bit better, if it had its leaves, if it was a little bit taller, no, that's based on your own judgment of what perfection is. You know, if the flower was just maybe a, a tad bit bigger, if the stem was longer, if it looked, you are judging what perfection is. You need to see it. You can't really see it right now. And the only way you'll ever see it is if you go outside the mind. I say all of this is happening perfectly because once you see the perfection out here, once you actually see that everything has happened perfectly, you start to see the perfection that you are. Really. This is the greatest anchor to let you know that you're perfect. Tragedy is perfect. When you see a tsunami take out a whole city, or you see a village get collapsed by fire, or you see a person get hit by a car, this is perfect. You may go, Tony, <laughs> You are so crazy for saying that. You may say that. But this is what it's like when you see perfection. When I see someone going through pain, in the moment I feel, this is perfect. When I see someone in love, I go, this is perfect. When I see a woman be hurt by a man because maybe he cheated on her, that is perfect. That's perfect for her experience. She's gonna learn what it means to stay open when she's hurt. It's perfect that he got hit by the car because he was around to bless the earth while the time he was here. It was perfect that that tsunami came in because that is nature's perfection. Right now, I'm freezing. I am. My hands are fucking cold. That is perfect. I don't want it to be warmer right now. All of this is perfectly happening. Allow yourself to see what is happening around you truly. Allow yourself to see, anchor yourself by what the world is giving you. Anchor yourself by it. And the best way to anchor yourself is nature. How is nature happening? Do you call cold imperfect and summer perfect? Do you call a storm imperfect and sunny perfect? You need to see that Whatever you judge as imperfection must be also judged as perfection. Whatever you judge as perfection must also be judged as imperfection. Because it's all not true. <laughs> when your mind goes, this is perfect and this is not perfect, you must also say whatever you call perfect is also imperfect. What you, whatever you call imperfect is also perfect. It's only through this that you're going to gain the vision to block your mind out and see what's happening for real. And in a lot of ways, I didn't want to do this video because I was like, maybe they're going to think I'm crazy for doing this. But then I went, this is great. It's a wonderful that I can talk like this. It's wonderful that I can give you insight into what perfection is. There's nothing greater than seeing what's perfect because once you notice that everything is perfect, perf ah, sorry, it's really cold. Ah. Once you notice that everything is perfect, you relax. I used to be someone who 
would see always the imperfection and the intention would happen. I'd be like, fuck, right now, this is supposed to happen and it hasn't happened, oh my God, and the intention would arise in me and I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna, you know, I wouldn't say I'm in an imperfect situation, but I'm just letting you know. I would feel like I'm in an imperfect situation, like, man, I don't have the money right now, or, well, fuck, man, I, I just don't know what to do. Like, how am I going to be able to go to this place, or how am I going to be able to face this situation when I've never done it? Always feeling tension because I see imperfection and just seeing it everywhere and seeing people and like, fuck, if that person right there is so angry, like, they look like they want to hurt that other person. Seeing that that is imp imperfect. Constantly seeing the imperfection and constantly being in tension. The person who goes, nobody's perfect. Oh, you're not perfect. I'm not perfect. The, per the person who says that and truly believes that will always live the life of tension and maybe sometimes they'll live in relaxation but they'll always know tension they'll always love they'll always really be one with tension in a way I had to start seeing the truth I had to start going yeah this is imperfect but what's really imperfect about it Really, what is really imperfect about this situation? Truly, what is it? This is perfectly happening. One person who I know who definitely says something that I really like is a good friend of mine, he goes, it's okay. I mean, one time we were coaching, he was like, it's okay. <laughs> I just love the way he said it because it really is true. It's okay. Everything is perfect. Whether you believe it or not, whether you believe you're perfect or not, I don't care. I really don't. I know you are. Whether you know it or not, doesn't, it's not up to me. Right now, as I'm speaking to you, I can choose to be imperfect. I can choose to go, fuck, okay, am I you know, sitting upright enough? Am I, am I doing this? And, you know, am I being engaged enough? I can choose to be imperfect right now. I can choose that. But I'm going, this is what's perfect. It is. This is me. This is me talking to you. And also with this, I want to tell you that imperfection, seeing quote-unquote imperfection isn't bad. Don't think of like, oh my God, seeing imperfection is bad. No, it's not. Because the person who knows perfection wants new imperfection. Wants knew that they were attached to the mind. So seeing imperfection isn't bad. It, it doesn't, it's not the bad thing. It's just, are you willing to see perfection? Because the place of perfection is relaxation, joy, mm. breathing, fully, enjoying. That's the side. Are you willing to see that side? This topic is so wonderful. Oh, I enjoy it. it. It gives me the chance to let you know that I'm crazy. It gives you the chance to let you know that I'm not crazy. It gives you the chance to know that I'm imperfect. But it also gives you the chance to know that I'm absolutely perfect. I want you to know that your mind will constantly show you imperfection in yourself. 
It will constantly do that. It will constantly show you imperfection in the world. That's all right. See it, judge it, but then go, I choose to feel the perfection that I am, to see the perfection that is around me. I saw two people fighting. And before I would go, oh my God, fuck, people fighting again. Like I would just feel like, why, why, why would they? And then I just went, oh, don't fight, you can't. Like I just felt like this okayness about it. Like they can fight, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with them fighting. This is the way that it's going now. When you start to see, this is the way that, it's go, that it goes. To the point that if somebody close to me died, I will see it as perfect. To the point that if you're going through pain right now and you feel like you're not enough, I see that as perfect. You have the choice to see. You have the choice to let go of your mind that tells you that something is perfect and imperfect and actually come to here and be here and actually notice what perfection is. Right now I'm shaking so much because I've been sitting out here, it's getting cold. The weather is getting better here in Budapest because the guys are like, where are you at? I'm in Budapest and I'm in Margaret Island, which is a wonderful place. I still have some Berlin spots left. There's only three days left until registration closes. And I tell you that this is the only time I'm coming to Berlin. So if you don't sign up now, look forward to me coming there next year. Go below in the description box on the Berlin seminar tickets, click the link and you'll find out more about it. If you are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, because my website, oh, I'm so happy, it's underway. It's really coming close to uh, being done now, like I can see it. If you're wondering about coaching until that comes out, what you can do is email me in the meantime. We can talk about it. We can get on the call and talk about it. Tony Solo at TheEssenceOfMen.com I also put below in the description box so you can just copy and paste it and send me something. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. This is the way you're going to be able to follow me. Share this with anybody who you feel is crazy enough to hear this. Because <laughs> it takes a crazy person to hear this. I'm shaking. <laughs> it's more important to become that which you are than to try to become that which you want. So never try, simply be. I'll talk to you in a few days.